بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Math Grade 5 Chapter 12 Lesson 3 Geometry Today we want to learn Classify Triangles Classify Triangles See with me this video Hi, Maha. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Today we want to learn what the meaning of classify triangles and what is the kind of triangles. So see with me this video. Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire, Welcome to Math Antics. In this geometry lesson, we're going to learn all about triangles. You may remember from the lesson about polygons that triangles are special polygons that always have three sides and three angles. And that's what the word triangle means. Tri means three and angles means angles. Okay, that's easy enough. Three sides, three angles. But what else is there to know about triangles? Well, for starters, we're going to learn how to classify triangles. Ooh, such a classy triangle. <laughs> but seriously, there's two different ways to classify or organize triangles. They can be classified by their sides and they can be classified by their angles. Let's start by classifying triangles by their angles, since we've already learned a lot about angles in the previous videos. You may remember from our first video about angles that there's three types of angles. There's right angles, acute angles, and obtuse angles. Well, watch what happens if we use a third line in each of these angles to form closed shapes. Aha! Triangles. And can you guess what these three different kinds of triangles are called? Yep. The one made from the right angle is called a right triangle. The one made from the acute angle is called an acute triangle. And the one made from the obtuse angle is called an obtuse triangle. So that's simple enough. But notice that for each of our three triangles, the new angles that were formed when we closed the shapes are all acute angles. So triangles always have at least two acute angles, and it's the other angle that determines what type it is. That's important to know so you don't get tricked. For any given triangle, 
Just because you see one acute angle, that doesn't mean it's an acute triangle. You have to look at all the angles to tell if it's an acute triangle. The situation's easier with right and obtuse triangles because you can only have one right or obtuse angle per triangle. So as soon as you spot one of those kinds of angles, you know what type of triangle you have. All right then, classifying triangles by angles is pretty simple, but we can also classify triangles by their sides. If we pay close attention to the length of each side of a triangle, we can see that there's three possibilities. First of all, if all three sides of a triangle are exactly the same length, then we call it an equilateral triangle. It's kind of a long word, but it's easy to remember because it sounds like it has the word equal in it. To see the second possibility, let's take the top vertice of our equilateral triangle and move it up like this. See what happened? Two of the triangle sides got stretched by the same amount, but the bottom side remained the same. Now we have a triangle that has only two equal sides, and that's called an isosceles triangle. That's a long word too. The best way to remember that is to look at an isosceles triangle and say its name 20 times as fast as you can. And finally, to see the third possibility, let's move that same top vertice again but this time to the left. Now, all the sides are different lengths. This type of triangle is called a scalene triangle. So those are the three possibilities when classifying triangles by their sides. Equilateral triangles have three equal sides, isosceles triangles have only two equal sides, and scalene triangles have no equal sides. That way was pretty easy too. The hardest part is just remembering the names. And now that you know both ways to classify triangles, let's see how you can use them together. Yep, you can use them both at the same time. If you classify triangles both by their angles and by their sides, it turns out that there are several possible combinations. To see what I mean, let's list the three classifications by sides, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral, and the three classifications by angle, right, acute, and obtuse. A scalene triangle can also be a right triangle, like this one. And a scalene triangle can also be either an obtuse or an acute triangle. In the same way, an isosceles triangle can also be acute, like this one, or obtuse, like this one. And in one special case, an isosceles triangle can also be a right triangle, like so. But things are different when it comes to an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is always an acute triangle. Because all three sides are exactly the same, all three angles must also be exactly the same. And since we can't have more than one right angle in a triangle, or more than one obtuse angle, all the angles in an equilateral triangle must be acute. Okay, now that you know all about how triangles are classified, let's learn one more really important thing about triangles. In our video about angles and degrees, we learn that we can measure angles and say how big or how small they are using special units called degrees. Well, since triangles are always made up of three angles, each of those angles has its own measurement in degrees. And the important thing is that those three angle measurements, if you combine them, they will always add up to 180 degrees. For example, have a look at this triangle. If we were to take a saw and cut it up into three separate angles, and then if we were to take those three angles and rearrange them so that they're right next to each other like this, you can see that the total would be the same as a straight angle. That's 180 degrees. And this will work no matter what type of triangle it is. Knowing that a triangle's angles will always add up to 180 degrees can really help you out when solving geometry problems. There's a whole lot of situations where you'll know what two of the angles are, but you need to figure out what the third angle is, like in this problem. With this triangle, we're told that one of the angles is 35 degrees and the other is 45 degrees, but the third angle is unknown. We need to figure out what it is. Since we know that the total must be 180 degrees, we can just add up the angles that we do know, and then we subtract that from 180 degrees to see what's left over. The leftover amount must be the measurement of the unknown angle. So, 
35 plus 45 equals 80 degrees. And when we take that 80 and subtract it from 180, we get 100 degrees left over. That means that our unknown angle is 100 degrees. And you can always check your answer by adding up all the angles to make sure you get 180. So you can see why it's so important to know that a triangle's angles add up to 180 degrees. Well, that's all we're going to learn about triangles in this video. Remember, the key to really learning math is to do it. So be sure to practice by doing the exercises for this section. As always, thanks for watching Math Antics, and I'll see you next time. Learn more. So today, we want to learn what the meaning of classify triangles. We have two kinds of classify triangles. The first one, the first one, classify triangles by sides. Classify triangles by sides. We have, we have three cases here. The first one, the first one, SSL's triangle, SSL's triangle means at least we have two sides congruent. At least we have two sides congruent. What the meaning of congruent means equal, equal. So I can I can read here at least two sides equal or two sides congruent. As you see this figure, here we have a triangle, but this side equal this side. When you see this signal, this signal means equal or congruent. So this side, just this side equal this side. So, so we have two, two sides congruent, two sides congruent. So the name of this triangle is isocell's triangle, isocell's triangle. The next case, we have equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle. What the meaning of equilateral triangle means all sides congruent or all sides equals all sides congruent. As you see here, this triangle, this triangle, this side equal this side equal this side. So we have three equal sides or all sides congruent, all sides congruent. The name of this triangle equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle. The third case, scalene, scalene triangle, scalene triangle means no sides congruent. We have three different sides. We have three different sides. As you see, this figure, this side, not equal the side, not equal the side. So here we have three different sides, three different sides. When you have three different sides, means we have scalen triangle, scalen triangle. I will repeat, classify triangle by sides, by sides. We have three cases, isocells triangle, means at least we have two sides congruent. As you see this figure, we have a triangle, the triangle includes three sides, just we have two sides equal or two sides congruent. When you have in the triangle, just we have two sides congruent, the name of this triangle is a cell's triangle. The, the, the second case, equilateral triangle means all sides congruent. <clears throat> As you see, in this figure, we have a triangle. We have all sides here congruent. This side equal this side equal this side. When you have all sides congruent, the name of this triangle equilateral triangle. Here in the third case, we have scalene triangle means no sides congruent, no sides congruent. As you see in this figure, we have three different sides. This side not equal this side, not equal this side. When you have three different sides, means we have scalene triangle, means we have Scalene triangle. The second kind classify triangle by angles. Classify triangle by angles. We have three cases. The first one, acute triangle, means we have three acute angles. 
as you see here, this is a triangle, but this angle acute and this angle acute and this angle acute. What's the meaning of acute angle? Acute angle means the angle between 0 and 90 degree, greater than 0 and less than 90 degree, like 70, like 10, like 45, like 81. So this is the meaning of acute triangle, uh, of acute angle. When the triangle has three acute angles, when the triangle has three acute angles, the name of this triangle, acute triangle, acute triangle. The second case here, right triangle, right triangle, means we have inside the triangle one right angle and two acute angles. As you see this figure, this is the right angle. And this, this signal means right angle. Right angle, the measure of this angle means 90 degree. 90 degree. This is, this, when you see this signal means we have 90 degree. This is the meaning of right angle. As you see in this, in this case, we have inside the triangle, just we have one right angle, one right angle, and this angle acute, and this angle acute. So when you have one right angle and two acute angles, means the name of this triangle right a triangle right triangle so right triangle means the measure of this angle 90 degree and acute angle acute angle means the measure of this angle between 0 and 90 degree greater than 0 and smaller than 90. the last case here we have optus a triangle means we have one obtuse angle and two acute angles. As you see in this case, in this triangle, this angle obtuse, this angle obtuse. What the meaning of obtuse angle? Means greater than 90 and smaller than 180. Greater than 90 and smaller than 180, like 121, 179, like uh, 96, 99, 100. This is the meaning of optus. So in this case, as you see, we have just one optus angle and we have two acute angles. We have two acute angles. I will repeat here. When you want to classify triangles by angles, we have three cases here. The first one, acute triangle, means we have three acute angles. As you see in this case, we have a triangle and all angles, all angles inside this triangle, acute angle. What's the meaning of acute angle? Means greater than zero uh, degree and less than 90 degree. The second case, right triangle, we have just one right angle and two acute angles. As you see, you see in this case, this signal means 90 degree. So here we have right angle. Here we have right angle, just one right angle. And we have two acute angles, two acute angles. The third case here, obtuse triangle, we have just one obtuse angle and two acute angles. As you see, see in this case, we have just one obtuse. What's the meaning of obtuse? Greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. And we have two acute, and we have two acute angles. See with me now this video. Okay, good day, boys and girls. Uh, today we are going to talk about classifying triangles. There are six ways we can classify triangles, three ways we can classify them based on the length of their sides, and three ways we can classify them based on the measure of the angles that are formed inside. So let's get to it. Some things we need to keep in mind about our triangles before we get started is that triangles can be classified by their side lengths, just as I've told you. That triangles are also classified by their angle measures, the point where the, those two line segments meet at the vertex. The angle measures of a triangle, if you wanted to know, are always equal to 180 degrees. 
If you're adding up measures or the angle measures of a triangle and don't get 180 degrees, you've done something incorrectly. Lines are used to mark congruent sides, which tells you that they're the same length. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. And of course, as we all know, triangles are made up of three line segments. Remember, those are line segments because they have endpoints at both ends and they're connected at a vertex when two of those line segments meet. And that is exactly what forms an angle. All right, let's get started. One of the uh, ways we can classify triangles by the length of their sides is if all three sides are equal. Now here, I'm marking lines of congruence. These lines indicate that all three sides are equal. Side BA is the same length as side AC, and that is the same length as side BC. In other words, all three of these lines are equal. It's easy to remember that an equilateral triangle means all three sides are equal because of the prefix equa. We often think about things like equal, meaning the same, when we think about things like equidistance, meaning the same distance, there are lots of English word examples. Lateral, of course, refers to sides or side to side. So this literally means equal sides. An equal sided triangle is called an equilateral triangle. Now, what happens if you have two sides that are equal, but one that's not? You've probably seen a triangle that looks like this. Maybe it's upside down. Sometimes it's called the ice cream scoop triangle. In a triangle like this, we call it isosceles. Now, iso is not a prefix that we're really used to in the English language, but it actually has Greek roots and does go back to mean something related with two or doubles. So isosceles means that you have two sides that are the same. In this case, side DE is congruent or equal to side FE. Obviously, side DF is not as long as the previous two. That's why I can't put a mark here. If I put a mark on side DF, I would be saying that all three sides are equal, and they're really not, as you can just tell from looking at it. So an isosceles triangle has two sides that are of equal length. I remember it because isosceles starts with the letter I, and I think about how I have two I's in my head. You might have heard that trick before. Equilateral, three sides that are equal. Isosceles, two sides that are equal. Well, what happens if you only have one side that's equal? Well, let's think about that. If you only have one side that's equal, then really you have no sides that are equal because there's only three sides. This is called a scalene triangle. Scalene triangles have all three different side lengths. You can probably tell just from looking, but if you needed to, you could get a ruler to check it. Side CA is clearly not the same length as side CB. AB is also not the same length as either of the two. Now, some kids will get confused and will try to put congruence marks here and here because they are similar. They are similar, but they are not congruent. They look like they could be. Break out a ruler and test it. Do not leave it to fate. Scaling triangles have no sides that are equal length. Remember, I said we can classify triangles based on their length, but we can also classify them based on their measure, the measure of their angle. So here we have something called a right triangle, and you should use the schema you have about right angles to figure out that a right triangle means that one of the angles is a right angle, and that is right there. It's usually marked for you with a little box. If you see a triangle with a little box, they are screaming at you, hey, this is a right angle or right triangle. So these two line segments come together at this vertex to form a perfect L, a 90 degree angle, which is exactly what it takes to be considered a right triangle. If it does not have a right angle, it might have a bunch of acute angles. Acute angle triangles have all three angles that form acute angles. Here you can tell that angle A, B, and C, none of them are 90 degrees or larger. None of them make that perfect L. They're all acute little angles. So therefore, if they have three acute angles, we call it an acute triangle. Easy, right? Of course, you can have an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle is considered so if it has at least one obtuse angle. 
Yes, it is true. Here and here, we have acute angles. You might think that makes it an acute triangle because there's two versus one. That is not the case. For an obtuse triangle to be so, it must only have one obtuse angle. That's all it takes. If it has one, then it is absolutely obtuse. You can test it by taking something that you know has a 90 degree angle, like this square or the edge of your paper, and laying it down on the line. If this were a 90 degree angle, it would match up perfectly. If it were an acute angle, it would be covered behind the square. But since it extends out, we know that that forms an obtuse angle and therefore makes this an obtuse triangle. Well, there you have it, boys and girls, a very quick demonstration of the six ways we can classify triangles. Now, remember, these classifications work hand in hand. You might have an acute triangle that's also a scalene triangle. You might have an equilateral triangle that's also an acute triangle. You never know how you're going to classify those triangles. You have to look at both sets of rules to make your uh, judgment. That is all. We will have another study cast soon about how to measure angles and also how to find the missing angles. So stay tuned for that. Example one, the question here, classify the triangle based on its angles. Angles. Uh, this is the figure. We have a triangle here. As you see here, we have this angle. This angle is obtuse angle, obtuse angle, because this angle greater than 90 degree, greater than 90 degree. And here we have two acute angles, two acute angles. In this case, the name of this triangle, obtuse triangle, obtuse triangle. Why? Because we have here, we have here, obtuse angle, because this angle greater than 90, and we have here two acute angles, two acute angles. So the name of this a triangle, obtuse triangle, obtuse triangle. In this example, the question classifies the triangle based on its angles also. So look to this figure. In this triangle, in this triangle, we have this signal. When you see this signal here, here small square, small square. When you have this signal, means you have right angle. The measure of this angle 90 degree, exactly 90 degree. When the triangle has one right angle and two acute angles, means the name of this triangle, the name of this triangle right triangle right a triangle so this angle has one right angle and two acute angles so the name of this angle right triangle in this example we have classified the triangle based on its sides not angles now sides the second case look to this triangle we have this side three inch and this side three inch means this side equal this side. So in this triangle, we have two sides congruent, two sides congruent, or we have two equal sides, two equal sides. When you have in the triangle two sides congruent means the name of this triangle is a cells a triangle, is a cells a triangle. Why? Why is a cell triangle? Because we have two sides, two sides congruent, two sides congruent. This is our lesson today. Who has a question now? Who has a question?
Are you ready? Zero five four. Three five six eight nine six nine. Is that Muhammad Hani? Yes, tell me. Um, the Muhammad Hani is the hour of the day, right? Yes, the small quiz tomorrow. Tomorrow on on Thursday at two p.m. o'clock. Okay, at two p.m. Two three p.m. Okay, Mister. Yes. Oh, she's talking about you. Come, Mister. Sir, we just I I handle the first half of the first half. Okay, excellent, Khalid. Who has a question now? Mister. Yes, tell me. Today we have quiz. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have a quiz. Tomorrow on Thursday, tomorrow on Thursday we have a quiz at 2 p.m. o'clock. Gadan, Gadan, yom al khamis fi anna quiz ala saa atnein la had yinsa. Unabhat ana bidat al hussa anu ma fi iade ma fi majal eid la had. Anu biyglak al imtihan bi shakal al qai ala saa atlaati ma fi ma fi majal eid li had. Izalik yurja min al jami. التقيد بوقت الامتحان ندخل على الساعة اثنين وبنتهي على الساعة ثلاثة طبعا ومثل ما حكينا سابقا نكتب الاسم كاملا وبس نخلص نتأكد انه ضغطنا على خيار سبميت لانه اذا ما ضغط على خيار سبميت ما بيصل لعندي وبكتب الاسم كامل الاسم هو اسم الاب واسم العائلة بيخلص الساعة ثلاثة بس بنحاول انه الساعة 2:55 نم... نرسله للامتحان لانه الساعة 3 تمام بيقفل بيقفل وانا ما عاد فيني افتحه لذلك يرجى من الجميع يرجى من الجميع التقيد بوقت الامتحان لانه ما في مجال عيد لاحد واضح الكلام بيقفل بشكل اوتوماتيكي ان شاء الله نعم مين تمام بس لو سوينا سمت الدرجات وين بيجي عليك ولا علينا؟ لا بيجي علي ما بيجوا عليك تمام طيب now see with me the alif I want to from all today when you finish your schedule to go to the alif program in your account this is our lesson today classify triangles the number of this lesson the number of this lesson fifteen go inside go inside please and see the old videos here inside triangles by their attributes all triangles have three sides and three angles but their angles and sides can have many different sizes and lengths. Some triangles have sides that all have the same length. And some have sides with different lengths. Some triangles have obtuse angles. Some have acute angles. And some have right angles. We see triangles all around us. They all have three sides, but they look different in other ways. Look carefully at this tile floor to see what you notice about the triangles in this design. Are you ready to learn how to classify triangles by their sides and by their angles? Okay. Let us now to take attendance. Today, sun, uh, today, sorry, uh, Wednesday, we are in the first period. Uh, Asil, 
تسهيل تسهيل ابسنت اليازيا هيرمسا جود جود هير هير رينات 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 ابسنت اوكي روضه ناصر روضه ناصر روضه ابسنت آه شمس فيصل سكير جريت الشيخ آه احمد يس جريت الشيخ بدر يس مستر جريت آه عليا خالد يس مستر لطيفه لطيفه يس جريت لين 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 ابسنت ماريا ماريا خلف ماريا ابسنت مروى هير جريت Uh, مريم مريم خير خير مهرة فيصل يس مستر موزة عيد يس مستر نغم يس مستر نغم جريت نورا نورا الأحبابي نورا أبسن مستر جويليف يس يو كان هاجر نعم مستر جري مهرة خلفان مهرة خلفان يس مستر يس مهرة جري جري أوكي أول جيرلز يو كان ليف ناو The boy is now uh, Bati. 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 Okay, Harib. Harib. Harib, also absent. Hamad uh, Ali. Dad, start. Great. Mansoor Ali. Now start. Today, Wednesday or Thursday, Mansoor? Mansoor Ali. Now. Today, Wednesday or Thursday? The day of the 4th or the 5th? The 4th. Okay, good. Okay. Hamdan. Yes. Okay. خالد خليل نعم مش موجود اوكي دانيال دانيال اوكي زايد يس يس مستر سعيد محمد سعيد محمد سعيد سلطان علي نعم استاذ نعم نعم استاذ سلطان غازي سلطان غازي سلطان غازي العتيبي اوكي عامر عامر نعم استاذ نعم استاذ جريت 
عبد الله الأحب... الحمادي عبد الله الحمادي نعم استاذ استاذ عبد الله راشد يس يو كان استاذ اطلع يس يو كان عبد الله راشد نعم جريت آه عبد الله الجابري عبد الله الجابري عبد الله الجابري ابسنت اوكي عبد الله مسعود عبد الله مسعود لاحبابي نعم جريت عمر اشرف يس يو كان عمر اشرف نعم استاذ محمود عمر الشامسي عمر الشامسي عمر الشامسي فلاح فلاح نعم. السرياني نعم جريت فلاح مايد نعم نعم استاذ جريت ثانك يو محمد احمد الحمادي نعم جريت آه محمد سعيد السريتي نعم نعم استاذ محمد سهيل محمد سهيل مطاوع سيف مطاوع مطاوع سيف مطاوع جريت مطاوع جريت معاذ 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 So this is our lesson today. How to classify the angles? Yes, tell me. Reader, I think we need to write this. We need to write it on the phone. Zero five four. Then. Three five. بعد ستة ثمانية بعد تسعة ستة تسعة خلاص تمام خلاص عندك يا ولا تمام خلاص 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 أوكي So this is our lesson today, how to classify a triangle. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.